Hey Libra, welcome to the Sacred Sage and wish you a very happy and loving Valentine's week. Well, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And for those of you who've been there with us for a really long time, thank you for all your love and support. Before I start the reading, I must tell you, I truly, deeply, madly am in love with the theory of twin flames. It's been years since I've been doing work on the twin flame journey and, uh, I really think I should start the readings for Twin Flames, but I've been waiting for this channel to hit a thousand subscribers or more, and that's why I urge to you that if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so, so that you can help motivate me and uh, I can help all those who are on this journey just like me, because it's one world. And everybody who's believed in the divine feminine and the divine masculine really know what it means to be in union and what exactly it is to be in separation with them. That yearning of the union is is something that uh, that has taught us a lot of lessons, isn't it? <laughs> and I'd want to be a part of your journey as much as I want you to be a part of my journey. So yeah, do subscribe thousand that's the number we are looking for <laughs> all right your reading my lovelies i think uh, what's been happening with you with respect to your love and relationships is that whether it was because of fears or your past experiences you had a few projections of your own mind right it's like it was somewhere blocking you from being in union with the one that you love the most or the person who really loves you so all of these fears or experiences were basically so strong that they had put you in a situation where you had accepted nothingness. So it was okay for you to have this person or be with the person and not be in perfect union because there was no such concept of perfect union that the mind could resonate with because the mind's projections were stronger than the reality. And they were so strong that they were blocking everything that the universe had to offer to you. But now is the time when your mind will start rebelling against these projections that you created because of your fears or your experiences. Now is when you would at least evolve to a state where you learn to compromise, right? You'll give up on these projections. You'll learn to compromise. You'll learn to accept reality. A new vision will come to you and you'll connect with the divine source. Trust you me, the moment you learn to connect with your own soul or with the divine creator, whether you call him God, the creator or a thousand names for the same energy that has created your soul and my soul and anyone else's soul, right? If you be in the hermit mode and you connect with yourself, not only are you going to be blessed with a new vision and the strength to have this new vision towards um, the divine union, but you'll also get success. Now, what I can see is that whether you or the other person, I think, has been indecisive. You didn't know whether this is the right thing to do or not. You didn't know if this is the right person. Or maybe you knew that this is the right person, but you did not know if you should go ahead with it or not. And that could be true for the other person. So feel free to swap the energies, right? But now whoever it was who was in denial or was indecisive truly knows that this is the soulmate connection this is the person that you're meant to be with and now they're willing to make the effort. Now it is more like a teamwork as opposed to one person making in all the effort, right? I think not only is the person ready to take the leap of faith, but you yourself are in the energy where you can manifest this relationship and take it to the next level. As I see, somebody was being very very calculative in terms of their investment into this relationship. Right? There was a lot of fiery energy, a lot of passion, uh, possibly also means that you guys share a great sexual compatibility. Uh, you just know that this is the person. When, when, when you get intimate with them, you really know that it's addictive. It is addictive in a positive way because you feel the pleasure or the high like no one else but but then 
you've not been able to take it to another level so far but now is when the soul is evolving the vibrations are changing and that's why there is this realization that this is the person that you are supposed to be with or they know and accept that you are the one made for them and as the outcome i have the marriage card which is a four of wands so i do think that whoever it is that you're dealing with and whoever is the one who is indecisive in this relationship is finally coming to terms that this is the one with whom you're supposed to spend your life with right and that decision is coming in soon because the reasons the energies or the vibrations that had kept you in this energy of not being able to move forward are now getting over and the leap of faith with the magician energy is ready to manifest this marriage this union and that's definitely going to bring you a lot of bliss because this is a soulmate connection this is the person with whom you've shared life not just this time but for many lives altogether so your soul already knows who's the one and you also know it it's time you acknowledge it All right I wish you a very happy Valentine's week and I wish and pray that the union comes in soon for you. Take care of yourself. God bless you. Wish you love and light.